Hey guys, so we're doing something a wee bit different today. YouTube, this is a joke video, by the way. I really have to put that out there. YouTube, this is joke. a joke. This is a go this is no, this is serious. This is a joke. We're not being serious with anything we say here. Or are we? Who knows? <laughs> uh, also, we got a Kickstarter going. It's only got so many days left. I'm sure you guys are sick of hearing about it. But, but we're, like, we're, we're not going to go into it. We're, just check it out. Just check Links it out. below. The video linking. Look, there's all the, the, the yeah. uh, here just, and here and check this out and just go go check that out. Let's just jump into the video. So, what is the Hyperion uh, conspiracy? And what is this iceberg? So um, essentially what it is, is I think it's kind of funny. So essentially what the whole conspiracy theory is about is it's actually the Irish that control the world. Like Illuminati, all that type of stuff. It's a... Uh, what? Nothing. Oh, I thought you were going to say no, something. No, I can't say nothing. <laughs> well, like, I, I think it's a really funny conspiracy because, like, you know, it, it you know, it kind of goes the whole way with uh, Irish being, like, pretty much, like, just abused throughout all yeah. of human history, to yeah, say the least. Much. Just absolutely curb stomped by Anglos every step of the way. And uh, it kind of all turns around. And uh, you know what? Um, Irish Americans have actually done really well for really themselves. Really well for themselves. So, you know, it's kind of interesting. So let's jump into the iceberg and let's see what it's all about. So, first up, it's all a joke. It's just a joke. It's, yeah, it's just a really funny joke. Just, just like a prank. J- just like this video, it's actually just, just really funny. Um, you guys, you guys just wouldn't get it. Uh, I think it's really funny. Megan, tell them about your one. You uh, you did an ancestry. Oh, yeah, I done that DNA test thing. And I came back. There was, there, a, there was a guy. There was a fella who was like third third cousin or something and uh we were talking and apparently my great great grandfather great great granddad's brother no great great grandfather oh right yeah um founded founded it isn't like the it's not it's not a mason lodge but it's like like a mason it's 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 like like an irish mason lodge (laughs) yeah so there you go so uh in fact this entire channel is a psyops you've been brainwashed (laughs) Ah! Buy my models. <laughs> you will buy the models. <laughs> you will back the Kickstarter. <laughs> uh, Hyperion FC. Uh, I don't really know anything about that, if I'll be honest with you. Generally speaking, we're not very good at football. Football, yeah, um, to be honest. The Celts, you know, like, the Celts are kind of interesting. Yeah. But again, Celt isn't really a great descriptive word. It's more like a collection of people. It's more like a shared culture yeah. than anything. Like, you know, you know, like Irish and Celt and French or Celt, but they're not the same people. People. It's more like a shared ancient culture. Does that make sense? Like a shared language and a shared way of doing certain things. Yeah. There's a lot of overlap, but they're, I wouldn't call them the same Same. people by any means. Northern Ireland. Yes, Northern Ireland doesn't actually exist. It's uh, not real. That's why we're the only people from Northern Ireland on the internet. (laughs) Actually, no, there's that other guy. There's one guy that's actually, he's like really big on Normie. Oh, uh, no. I think his name's Con- is his name Connor. I don't know. He does the gaming thing. Does he? He does gaming. He's always around like gamers. Yeah. Well, either way, so he's got like sportsplex and like Lisburn named after him. <laughs> Lisburn. It's something. No, it's maybe it's not Lisburn, but it's something like that. Yeah. So yeah, we're we um Northern Ireland do- doesn't actually exist. We are. I in know. Fact- he plays Minecraft. Does he? Ah, well yeah. then you know. I mean, God knows. God knows. Um. We are, in fact, uh, we don't, we're not real. Uh, Northern Ireland is actually just a massive psyops to make you think. That's why, yeah. no one, that's why no one ever comes here. Yeah. It, you, you can't get, you just can't get there. All right. Uh, so. U.S. President Heritage. Oh, right. Okay. So this one's actually kind of true. So again, it's kind of one of those ones when it comes to like Americans, um, great stigma around Irish when they first show up and yeah, kind of, I get it. It makes yeah, sense. I get it. <laughs> don't worry about it. Like, I get it. I, I live with these people. I know what you're <laughs> <laughs> I live here and I wouldn't want to <laughs> I want to put that I wouldn't want to put that on anyone but uh, yeah pretty much uh, it's like some insane number like I think like almost like 80 70 to 80 percent of US presidents have Irish heritage um, even Obama I'm not making that what? up yeah Obama uh, yeah Obama actually does uh, sure, remember he came here off, like back in like 20... Yeah, but I just thought that was like a presidential tour or whatever it was. No, no, no. I, well, it was a presidential tour. But also, um, he does say that he's Irish. So there you guys go. <laughs> yeah. <Yo. laughs> <laughs> All right. What's, what's up next? Walt Disney. Walt Disney. I don't know this one. I don't okay, know this one. Okay, so uh, we're just going to... So see if we don't actually know the answer. We're just going to make it up. Or are we making it up? So uh, you need to remember that Walt Disney was, in fact, uh, sworn into secrecy yeah. over this. Um, see all his, the, he was this. in. He was actually in um, 
Well, it actually probably was the Hellfire Club. Oh, yeah. And, is uh, it Hellfire? I couldn't yeah, tell is. you. And, you know, there's a lot of propaganda that he pushed about yeah. the Irish. And, like, you know, he, oh, you know, he always put them in a very good light. Yeah. You know, and that's probably where it all came from. Yeah. And, like, you know, the from the 18th, or, sorry, from the 19th to the 20th century, you know, hmm, mm. hmm. Alfred Hitchcock again. Look, that's, like, you got to get in with the media. So you do. You got a lot of fucking birds over here. <laughs> <laughs> tell, tell the story about your mom. My mom with the birds. She was young. She right, was only so about... she would have been what, like maybe six, seven, eight, seven, eight. And, and she watched the birds the night before, and she was walking home from her school, and uh, it was the bin, like the bin mm. memory, the trash, whatever it is, yeah, in America, and um, all the birds were like crowding around, like. The, the bin lorry. Yeah. Um, because the, the rubbish was out, but my mum was like, they're coming after me. <laughs> so she was, her little like six, seven year old self was holding on to the railings, walking home squealing because <laughs> she thought she was going to get killed by all these birds. birds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, Abraham Lincoln. Um, and all I know really about that time period was they did use a lot of Irish for the North. But uh, actually, you know what? Let's let's make this up. So, are, are we making it up? Oh, oh, you know, to see this thing, you're never going to know. YouTube, this is jokes, okay, man? <laughs> jokes. This is, this is jokes. Just a prank, bro. Like, like, just a prank, bro. So yeah, Abraham Lincoln actually knew what was going on. He he was he was like ground like he, he was ground that. level yeah. when it came to the hyper. He also has like he came up with like the secret ingredient in Guinness. Oh yeah, he did, and you know what? That's why he had. That's to... why he had the big hat. It was full <laughs> yeah. of all the secrets. Yeah, it was a big. You know what? A lot of people don't know this, but it was see, a distillery. Yeah, it was a distillery, <laughs> and like, the top actually had like white. It was like a white flat top he had, so it actually looked like uh, like a big pint of Guinness. So it did also because um, he knew the secret to the recipe, and that's why he had to send so many of them off yeah. to fight in that civil yeah. war because he had to dispose of them in like you know a. In a manner that no one would yeah, ever su- exactly. suspect. Uh, British soldiers killed at, at IRA, IRA funerals. funerals. I mean, that that's actually... That's, that's, that, I don't, like, there's actually not much I can say about that. Like that that's but actually like, true. true. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. I'm not really going to go too much into it. So yeah, let's keep going next. JFK up. visit to Ireland. I but to be fair, that's because again, again, Kennedy's a really common name here. Yeah, he, he was, but he, I think he was the first one that he's from Boston, wasn't he? Um, New York. He was a New York yuppie type. So was, he was he? Yeah, his dad. See, this is the thing. So JFK, his dad actually worked really closely with uh, Roosevelt um, during the um, Great Depression, and one thing that they did was I'm not even making this up. They actually confiscated. A lot of gold. I am not making this stuff up. YouTube, we're like the Irish, okay? The Irish. Which then leads on to Jews are a cover up. Uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. In fact, all this anti Semitism is actually. Um, Should be directed towards the Irish. Yeah, it's actually all a big cover up. You guys we're just. We're going to have a car, car bomb. Underneath our yeah, we're, car. we're 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 spilling the beans. Yeah, <laughs> we're spilling the magic beans or the what would the, the beet beans, <laughs> the, not the beet beans or the magic pot. Where yeah, the again, stew has <laughs> yeah, been the stew, <laughs> the stew has fallen. <laughs> <laughs> Code word: the stew has fallen. <laughs> Court I, don't, I don't know what this video is, guys. I'm really sorry. I I, I looked Megan on this. She said to me, "It's like, are you sure you want to do this as a video?" And I was like, "Yeah, I think it's going to be really funny." <laughs> <laughs> this is what we've got. To. We're already halfway. <laughs> Lee Harvey Oswald knew too much. Yeah, of course he did. Mm-hmm. And again, it's the same similar thing as what happened with Lincoln. Again, mm-hmm. more just a fall guy than anything. He knew you about know. Lincoln's hat. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's that was what happened. That, that's exactly what happened. I don't know what the fuck his video is. <laughs> next one. All right, what's up next? <clears throat> Irish American Irish mob true sphere of influence. Yeah, influence. you see, a, a lot of the time they would use the Italians as cover up. It actually was the, the Irish, Irish the entire time. Mm. Have you not, have you guys not seen Gangs of New York? Hmm. Mm. That was that was that was the building blocks. That's how they came. They all broke out in song too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> fiddly D, <dee>, fiddly do. <laughs> tin whistles. <laughs> yeah, get your tin whistles out, boys. It was kind of like pipe pipers almost. Mm. But with Irish tin potato famine hoax. <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, it was just a prank. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not even joking. I got. I don't care. My family took the soup. <laughs> yeah, you did. So Megan's maiden name is 
an Irish name, but they're all Protestant, like hyper Protestants. Mm-hmm. Um, your dad's side, anyway. Properly took the sip. We took yeah. this. We didn't want to. Nah. Yeah. Um, like, yeah, I'll go Protestant. Give me yeah. some food. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Uh, don't don't really matter. Don't really care too much about that. Um, but again, like you'd be mad not to back then, mm-hmm. anyway. Like you know. But I got into an argument with one of my mates about this. <laughs> I was taking the test, but he was like. He got reasonably angry with me because I said, "Look, honestly, see back then during the farm, I think they were just being a bit fussy. You just cut the black bits off. Cut you'd the be, black bits off. You'd, you'd be, be sweet. You'd be fine. What are you on? Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I just cut the black bits off. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's Give not that big of a deal. Thing. Yeah, just wash them under the sink. <laughs> oh, this is the thing Americans don't do. Uh, we, you just don't you just, you, just, you just don't have mucky potatoes. You just don't have dirty potatoes. Yeah, so I whenever love a we dirty bu- spud. whenever we buy potatoes, they still have like soil on them and stuff. Like they're full, they're just full so, of dirt. It's just like a big dirt bag. Yeah, so like we have to like wash them, wash in, them in underneath the sink. the sink, get the dirt off. But taste peak. I think they do taste nicer. It whenever they far nicer. Whenever they come with mud on them, but you know the worst thing is that the best actual potatoes I think come from Spain. Yeah, marsh pipers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, them ones and the ones that your dad gets. Are marsh pretty, pipers. Are they? Yeah. yeah, they're pretty, pretty bad. They're, they're the best ones. They, they're really nice they're potatoes. They're so nice. So yeah, um, Ireland actually can't crash potatoes due to Spain. <laughs> Spain actually has a really nice. They have potato. really nice onions too. <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> Nice oranges as well. Actually, you know what? Just go, just go to Spain if you want. Apparently, nice the food. best chickens from Holland as well. It's the only place you get your chicken from. Yeah, Holland. Yeah. Um, okay, so we. Did. I write true motives. Oh yeah, the true motives. The real. They motive. didn't want the six counties. No. Who the fuck wants the six <laughs> counties? I'll never understand this. See, I've got a, I've gotten arguments with loads of people before over this whole six counties business, and honestly, the thing is, like, the people in Northern Ireland didn't want to be part of the people down south and the people down south generally speaking do not want the we'll people from part, Northern yeah, Ireland exactly. so see all this talk about United Ireland business get away it, with it, that there, there might be people that just don't want it and the only reason why people do want it is because it's a bit of a meme Yeah, it is a bit of a meme let's be serious it, 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 but then again you know what works really well for Northern Ireland in particular so we get all the benefits of living in the UK but the UK really doesn't want anything to do with us so we're yeah. kind of left to our own devices you should really look into Northern Ireland Northern Ireland Pol- Pol- it's an absolute clown show. You guys think voting's important? What? <laughs> <laughs> Vote matter? What? <laughs> I suppose I shouldn't joke about that on YouTube, should I? Oh, yeah. Um, Irish invented Catholicism. Yes, it was actually... It was you, us. Yeah, so, you know, it's coming up on the time, Halloween. Um, as you guys are probably aware, Halloween is actually a Irish... Irish. Holiday, yeah. so it is. And we used to carve turnips. Yep. Um, but wouldn't... they were hard as fuck. <laughs> yeah. Megan's dad did turnips. And he used to cut his hands because yeah. it wouldn't Let's just give a child the sharp knife. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, um, it was actually St. Patrick. You see, this is what it was all about. It wasn't actually sneaks. It was never sneaks in Ireland. No, what... Paddy just was chasing out. Um, who can we say? The Anglo. Yeah, the Anglo. Um, even though that's, that's just, true, though. Um, it, it was probably it, what they mean by chasing like the snakes. They mean like, heretics or yeah, pagans. basically. That's unironically what it means. Chasing like the Protestants. Yeah, even though Protestants won't exist for another thousand yeah. years. <laughs> But trust me, it was definitely Protestants. <laughs> I like trust me about this. Because paternalism goes back well far. Did no, like I'm sure Americans don't know this, but there is a lot of um, stereotypes whenever it comes to like Catholics and Protestants. Yeah, in Northern Ireland, in Northern Ireland and Ireland. What's the one about the toaster? So Megan didn't believe me, but I it's didn't 100- get this. One hundred percent true. So uh, Protestants don't keep their toasters out. No, we. Protestants put, put their toasters in the cupboard. In the cupboard, and then they take them out to be used. Catholics have them out, and it's It's fat. 100% true. There's Anybody from Northern Ireland or Ireland watching this, or England, if you know Catholics and Protestants. To be fair, it really... Look, just, just, when next, just, just look. Just check that out. Honestly, it always confused me going down to my friend's house, and, like, you know, say you're staying over at their house, and the next morning you're having, like, toast or whatever for breakfast. Mm-hmm. Always confused me that they were pulling it out of the cupboard mm-hmm. because it's it a wee bit more me, Protestant. But to, to, but to me, the idea of keeping a toaster in a cupboard just it does keeps not compute. things off your workspace. It's a wee bit more Protestant looking. The only reason why our one sits out is because we've got no fucking cupboard space. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> 
Like, would you be, would you be putting them? Yeah. Does this mean all he's going up in a Protestant household? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I have failed my lineage. Well, actually, the 12th came and he got two little 12 flags, uh, but we... I've taped them both, or so two it... little Union Jacks, Yeah. but with like wooden sticks, and I've taped them both together, so he's like dual wheel, and he's like yeah. Darth Maul, and I'm like, do, 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 Hey guys, sorry for interrupting your video, but I'm sure you've already heard by now that we have our first ever Kickstarter up and live. It's the Gas Station Tabletop Role Playing Source Book. It's got this many days left. I don't know how many days is left, but this is how many's left. It's a one off print. So once this Kickstarter's finished, we don't intend to do another print. Unless there's overwhelming numbers of people yeah. that really, really want it. This, we intend this to be a one off thing. We might print it again in like, three four years time who knows but if you're interested you can check out the video link below that's showing everything in it and everything you need to know about it thank you so much for your support and everyone that's pledged so far and let's get back to the video and today's lucky winner is this guy yeah. well done well done to claim your prize just send an email to neckbeardiacontact at gmail.com now let's get back to the video Lucky Charm Subliminal Messaging. So this is something that we Irish have been perfecting over millennia. Yeah. Is you think, you see that Antelica stuff? Heh. That's nothing. Nothing on us. We've been... Diabetes? <laughs> yeah, that's that's our... That's... You know, uh, medical, industrial... Cor uh, com uh, <laughs> fuck, what are, what are the words I'm trying to say? I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, the medical... Yeah, look, you guys want diabetes? Look at how much money... Lucky Charms. Is, yeah, exactly. Get on that. And, uh, you know, look, you, you will drink your corn syrup. Yeah. You will. Gaelic runes. Just a bunch of fucking rocks, mate. <laughs> no, then I'll we'll get that story. And I don't even know how to explain it without... It's just... It'll just Jim, be, James was down in Cork right. and he was pissed one night. And then the next night, the, the next morning they woke up and they were and hungover was, as fuck. I, I was dying. So like, was. absolutely dying. And we went to go and see some... And had to go like, see some, some fucking ruins. And James, <laughs> James stood in the middle of them, like, ancient old ruins. James just started them. It's like, like, it's just a bunch of fucking, fucking rocks, rocks mate. Man. <laughs> I mean, there were interesting, but I was dying all the time. I was, I was a no sheep to be doing any sightseeing. I was absolutely, I, I was still steaming from the night before, if I'm honest with you guys. So the Groove Club, again, What's you know. What's the Groove Club? So you guys have heard of Bohemian Groove and stuff like that. Again, that's all just a cover up. So it is. Uh -huh. you, anything that you think you know, you don't know. You don't. <laughs> um, everything's a psyop. Everything's mind control. Everything's coming out to get you. And that's why you're listening to this video. Watch this video. Buy my models. Go on and jump back to Kickstarter. Yes. Mm. <laughs> I'll, I'll do the, you know, the... Swirl. swirl, swirl. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Mind control. Um, but yeah, the gro groove is a bunch of the buys. The, the, boys. the boys get together and they engage in um, activities with each other mm -hmm. that are how do I say this? <laughs> yeah. They uh, they do things to each other's um, sodomy. <laughs> sodomy. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what they do. That's what they do. It's great fun, guys. You should go you should there sometime. Honestly, uh, they give you Jameson on arrival. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> The protocols of the druid elders, uh, elders of, of Hibernia. Yeah. So the FBI actually posted this on their. I can't even joke about that. That's uh, no. no, that's <laughs> not. not. Um, but they, yeah, they did post it. The other one, um, <laughs> but yeah. So essentially, you need to remember that. Okay, you guys know forty k lore. You guys know the emperor. Them uh, shamans that birthed the emperor were in fact they weren't shamans at all. They were actually ancient Irish druids. Mm -hmm. You need to you need to understand that. And you see, the druid elders have actually been weaving their way through all of human history. Full of them inside job that was planned. I was Irish. Yeah, it was Irish all along. Uh, Genghis Khan, Attila the Hun, like you name it. Um, Irish every single time, every single time. You think anything's happened? The World Wars again. Look, and how how do they do it? They always the Irish make, were like they they he 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 macro. They just crop up everywhere, and they always make themselves look like the ultimate victims, mm -hmm. but in fact they are not the victims. Exactly, um, you're the victim. Um, so Soviet Union Irish, Irish policy. policy. You know, it, it was that a thing? I think, you know, because the thing is, right, so this is actually true. Um, the Germans funded the Easter Rising. Yeah. Um, this is pretty well known. A lot of countries that are 
not fans of each other will give money to groups of rebels, rebels or, or targets whatever, or yeah. whatever. And uh, would you be shocked if same high America? Yeah, well, like you um, know, give <laughs> like South Amer- some, something, something South America. You know what I mean? Let's just keep going. Like I don't want this to actually get yeah. us something to bother. I think this is a funny video, but the problem is with YouTube. I don't know if it can actually exist on YouTube. So Irish politicians told Hitler to attack Britain and France. That's actually true. I'm yeah. not even that. That that actually is 100% true. I'm not yeah, even joking. There was a big, true. there was a lot of Irish politicians that were really in favour of Germans cur- curb stomping and grooves and, you know, is that really that shock? Uh, I'm going to choke in. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, Megan, I'm going to have to cut that. Yeah. Um, CIA, tw- again, look, this, that's actually true. Where do you think they got them armor like, like, from? <laughs> where did they get them? Like, come on, like, man. Come on. Like, let's, let's, let's not try to kid ourselves. Yes, they did. St. Patrick's Day, Green River is... Nano machine. Nano machine. Nano machine. You see whenever, like... Pa- like St. Patty's Day comes over here. And it's not. It's nothing like it's the Americans. Nothing, like we, the Americans go full out, and like the Irish are over here going, uh, "Are you okay?" Most people, like we just go out and get pissed. No, most people don't even drink on the day. No, or drink at the weekend. Drink and even the weekend, then, they don't really the, care. Know, much. Nobody cares. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, um, in fact, it is. This is again Neuralink. Oh, uh, Elon Musk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, you guys don't know what you're getting into. Meta. Um, yeah, exactly. Meta. Like. Just, just look at. Um, I'm sorry to put this out here. This is definitely going to get us um, into a lot of valor. But Zuckerberg, he is an Android developed by the elders, uh, by the oh Druid, Druidic Did elders. Did you say that? <gasps> yes, he is. No. that's what that's what he actually is. Um, Redhead rite of passage. <laughs> so this is a little thing about Americans. Americans call everyone ginger. That's like got behind her. I would call it Orburn. The only people that are called ginger here are Our like, Fanta pubes, are like fa- pure like, gingers. Like I mean, like highlighter orange ginger. They're the only people that would be called ginger. Yeah. And the, see, this is the thing. There's like really lovely, nice ginger hair. Yeah. And then there's fucking ugly ginger hair. Yeah. And there's no one between. Yeah. And there's no such thing as a good looking ginger man. I'm sorry. Like, is there? Can a man have ginger hair and also be good looking? I don't know. Let me look it up and go Google. Handsome. <laughs> so you have to Google it. Ginger name. Let's see. Oh, what do you call the guy from Homeland? Actually, does he count? No. Handsome ginger man and fucking Ed Sheeran. Here comes up. <laughs> Ewan McGregor is not ginger, and neither is no. um, what's his face? Michael Fassbender. Michael Fassbender. He's not ginger either. I'm talking like you see, this like, is the thing. Gin- like they're not ginger. They they've just got brown hair to me. They're like mm, Seth Green, maybe. Would he count? Maybe I don't know. But like that's ginger. So if Seth Green is the best you're going to get, I don't know what to, what to say to you guys. But yes, um, in fact, um, if you've got Fanta orange hair, um, it is a light of passage. You must make a blood sacrifice. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just the way it is. Um, the, the blood actually it's it heals all diseases. It's kind of like you know, like Jesus. You know the way Jesus like they was put a healer? it on the Blarney Stone. And people kiss <laughs> the blood of gingers. Yeah, kiss the blood. Okay. Uh, what's up next? Boston. Boston, just Boston. Boston, yeah. Bo- Boston is actually um, just a sail. No, uh, Bo- Boston is actually <laughs> the deep state headquarters. Uh, so it is. It's genuinely. You think Washington's your capital? It's actually in fact Boston. And the Boston. head of Boston is um, Marky, you- Mark. <laughs> Marky Mark. Marky <laughs> Mark at the Funky Bunch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He said headquarters. Okay, in so uh, Boston, you know, and you ever guys, you guys ever wonder, you know that big bean? Do you know the big bean thing? <laughs> no, no, it's silver bean in Boston. I don't know what it's called, but it's like a big silver <laughs> bean in Boston. Big silver bean in Boston. <laughs> yeah, it's just, Boston. I don't know what it's called, but it looks like a bean to me. <laughs> it's a fucking bean. <laughs> yeah. What is that? I don't know. It's some like weird art display. No, AT and T plaza are located on top of. No, I'll tell you what it actually is. It's actually an alien spacecraft. And uh, the Irish, and uh, right, we're finally getting the to bean. It. It's nicknamed. Is it? Is it, called, is it called the bean? Is it actually called it's the bean? It's nicknamed the bean. <laughs> 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 
So, um, in fact... Is it some beans, man? Um, so, Boston is actually where the Irish first landed on Earth. Um, <laughs> on Earth? Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, we're actually... That's where we bred, that, in the soil, you, with the spuds. Have you, uh, you know, that's a thing. See, when people have got Fanta orange pubes, they're actually the true bloods. So uh-huh. they, are, yeah. they are the direct descendants of the Hyborian space people yeah and we're here to then monitor earth yes. and make sure it's it's taken over okay yes you know and of course we just like to fuck with you guys from time to time yeah it's great fun pot of gold is a dog whistle for secret irish gold reserves guarded by cia <laughs> um and again i did say jfk's dad this is actually true he did actually this is why I, i'm kind of skeptical on people that like hoard silver and gold and precious metals because the you government, yeah, I know, but that happened in America, and uh, but you do need to be skeptical on it to a certain extent because they did actually seize everyone's silver oh, gold, right. like, and this was under well, yeah, it'd be under a hundred years ago. So you know that's kind of, and that's kind of mad when you think about it, yeah. and it's something that's never spoken about or talked about that the American government literally did S- steal. Gold. Um, like it's kind of mad. So yeah, Fort Knox is actually a cover up. I'm sorry, guys. It's not. It's not real. <laughs> There's um, uh, it's called uh, elsewhere. So what's what's the next word? The last one. The last one. Irish Catholic. True, True meaning. meaning. I already spilled the beans. Irish Catholic are in fact aliens yeah. from outer space. We come from the Andromeda system, and we're a very ancient race. And we have just you see the problem is our genetic code can't morph correctly with humans and that's why you get the Fanta Orange yeah. people and that's why it doesn't really look right that's why you get Uncanny Valley vibes <laughs> and, uh, that's, wolf- that's, like, that's why I, my skin's so pale you see and uh, the wolf tones are sent down as sirens <laughs> yes yeah, 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 yeah. You thought you, you, you guys got no idea. Uh, leprechauns are, are real. real. <laughs> You're listening to two. Yeah, exactly. You know. You... Why do you think I've never been on camera? <laughs> <laughs> why, why do you think I've never been on camera? Yeah, then? Megan isn't actually. Um, so whenever I go on camera, I'm actually wearing a skin, skin suit. suit. No, it's a skin suit android. You see. Um, yeah, that's what it is. But um, I'm kind of like, you know, Men in Black, remember that wee tiny alien? I'm actually three foot two. <laughs> yeah. Wait, to be fair, your mum is actually three foot two. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's not that small, but she's pretty small. Um, Communist Manifesto banned pages with Garden <laughs> Yeah, uh, even Karl Marx knew that we were too powerful <laughs> and he needed to tone it back because he knew that um, if communism was to flourish, it's actually, you know, communism, uh, if communism was to work, the only way communism could work in this world is if Irish people didn't exist. If we were suppressed. Yeah, we, we, we've actually been um, corrupting and subverting. We every- are the spies. Yes. Of the world. <laughs> and last one, last one. Ireland unaffected by licensing <laughs> 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 Um Yeah, yeah, so, so the thing is, right, um, Ireland itself, you guys thought, you guys thought long, whenever I was referring to the bean being like an alien spacecraft, um, you know the way in Nordic poems where they talk about dwarves that hold up the earth? Um, it's actually leprechauns holding up Ireland. Ireland. And they tilt it now and again depending on what size the race. <laughs> and when the time comes, uh, when the rapture happens, um, we will blast off into space. Yes. Uh, only the few chosen from our ranks will, well, the few chosen, what we call the average population, the, uh, the Anglos and the... Fiends. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, if you're a Fiend, you automatically get free passes, yeah. by the way, guys. Yeah. And um, just in case you want to have some security within yourself to make sure the Irish don't get you. you got to buy our, buy our models. Well, no, our... not just that. Our one weakness is um, bacon fries in the sun. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, that's why that's why Ireland actually is always foggy and it's always overcast. It does like you know We're like that, vampires. Yeah, see, th- we just can't do with heat. Yeah, that's that's actually one because our home planet is actually way colder. It kind of looks like Camino, so it does from Star and Wars. The local greeting is oh, by it's cold. <laughs> like it's Baltic outside. <laughs> Right, like this video is coming up on half an hour. I don't know what this was. I don't know what the fuck I, I thought this was really funny. Um, YouTube, this whole video was a it's joke. It's a joke. It's a joke, okay? Write in the comments. 
pl- that this was a joke, so yeah. so YouTube don't like be mean to us yeah. because like I want to be able to do stuff like this. I thought it was really funny. I had fun recording it. I don't know about Megan. I thought it was funny. It's funny. Yeah, I thought it was funny. I thought it was worth doing. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I I thought it was I don't fun. know what the fuck it is. I don't know what it is. I'm I'm gonna have this. You guys have no idea the amount of stuff I'm gonna have to cut out from this video. I want to see. You know the guy who like in the comments who like timestamps everything. Let's see how long it takes him this video. <laughs> Yeah, the guy. Yeah, yeah, Cooper. I can't. Yeah, remember, yeah. Oh my god. Uh, I'm sorry. You're 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 not gonna be able to make it. But yeah. Um. On on another note, we got a Kickstarter going. Check it Check out. Check it out. Um, like. It's gonna be. It's a limited time sort of thing. We're not gonna be printing the game. I think it's kind of fun. I thought it was interesting. Yeah, it is really fun. And thank you for the support. So. Oh far yeah, on. it's done. It's done way better thank than what so I ever much. expected. But yeah, we're gonna wrap us up. See you later. Bye. Time.